Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Riley, you may know me as Honey Rags, and I'm a full-time reseller, so as you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to take you guys thrifting with me. I usually will, you know, I spend most of my time extensively looking through the clothing, however, when I watch thrift with me videos, I, I'm really interested in seeing the hard goods that people find. Um, and even the hard goods that, you know, like I'm a window shopper online and I like to watch YouTube videos and just like put myself there. So um, I'm gonna go through the hard goods pretty well and then I'm gonna add my commentary um, throughout the thrift with me video. I resell uh, for a living, obviously, but I do enjoy thrifting as a hobby. I'm a vintage enthusiast, so that's really what strikes my attention the most are really cool vintage pieces and just like weird things that you don't find all the time so um i think that's all so let's go so i always try to look through the wallets but i actually have never had luck finding a wallet uh i think i found a, a cute fossil wallet once and i sold it for like 14 dollars. but i usually don't find anything good this one caught my attention because obviously it's super mario uh, and it's like a false denim, so it really reminds me of the 90s or early 2000s, but it was just, it was really cheap. You guys could probably see that Ipsy makeup bag. I always find a ton of those. Um, I'm just going to go through the purses real quick here. I didn't find any purses. I usually don't have luck with purses. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm waiting for that one, uh, that one like Chloe bag, if they even make bags. Um, I was actually going to go through the hard goods first because that's what I really wanted this video to be focused on, but I'm going to tell you at the end of the video why I did not do that. I did skim through the clothing thinking I would only look at a couple things before I went to hard goods and I found some really good pieces. So we have this Madewell top. It's really simple, but I'm going to tell you why I picked it up in just a minute. A Lily Pulitzer newer label. Um, what is this one? A tiny, yeah, I forgot about that one already. A tiny anthropology, which has a cult-like following. I have no problem moving tiny. A prana top. And a Marilene. This is my first time finding Marilene Italy. So that's definitely worth picking up. I'd say it's worth picking up all those pieces. However, uh, the Madewell, you know, it was a little simple. So the reason I picked up the Madewell piece, oh, uh, here's a Vineyard Vines piece. I pick up Vineyard Vines every once in a while, but not there. That one was just too plain and honestly it was a little more worn than I'd like to pick up. The reason I picked up the plain Madewell piece, oh, this is why I can't do voiceovers because I, I, okay, this is an older label, Peruvian Connection top. I moved Peruvian Connection quite a bit and I actually found loads of it, just wait. Uh, but I left that one behind because it was a really simple style. Why do I pick up plain Madewell pieces? Um, I also will, I find myself picking up made, plain Madewell pieces, plain Athleta pieces, Vineyard Vines pieces. Um, the reason I do that is because every once in a while, if somebody um, purchases a bundle from me of, you know, five or more items, I really don't have a limit in my mind. I will, re I've recently started sending them a freebie gift based on their style and their size. So if somebody orders, you know, five, uh, size small boho style things from me, I might have like a spare Madewell piece and I'll throw it in the bundle for a freebie gift just to show my appreciation. Um, this is actually a Lucy top. It was missing the pull tab, but I talk about Lucy a lot. So I wanted to show you guys a little orange bar just in case the pull tab is missing. I left that one behind because it was a little too worn. I do want to say if you guys have ordered a big bundle from me on Poshmark in the past and did not receive a freebie, it is because I've just recently started doing this and I've already had a few bundle orders where I've sent freebies and honestly, no, nope, got to cut in here because the I found a clean K-L-E-E-N, which is kind of like flax um, or habitat close to live in. Great resale rate, by the way. Look at all this Peruvian connection, guys. Peruvian connection, Peruvian connection. This was an Anthropology RN um, featuring the work of, I couldn't even read the name, but I I have I don't have any doubts that that will sell once I uh, you know do a little research Peruvian connection. Um, this is Mott fifty M O T T fifty, which is like a UV ray protection line. REI, which reminds me of like a high end life is good slash mountain uh, hardware, but it had a cute little quote on the back. Have a Lafayette one forty eight top. Um, I leave behind Lafayette 148 quite a bit these days. I used to pick it up all the time because it is a designer brand. Uh, but that one I picked up because it was super cute. You guys get to see my ugly thumb. <laughs> Looks like a butt plug. 
I have the most hideous thumb. It's E-T-T-T-W-A, which is an anthropology brand. It was impossible for me to capture that label without putting my nasty thumb in it. Rag and Bone Knit. This is my first time finding Rag and Bone Knit. Um, I, like I was saying, I want to let you guys know if you have ordered a bundle from me in the past and you did not receive a freebie gift, like I said, there's many reasons. Um, one of them being that I just recently started doing this. And uh, my main, I just want to show appreciation. And I find so many good brands and simple pieces that I really just don't want them to end up in a landfill. So I'm like, how can I pick these up? Um and give them a new home without reselling them because they're not really worth photographing uh, separately. And I thought I should save them as freebies for people who order bundles. And so far the feedback has been great. You know, I'm paying maybe $4 a shirt to add in a little freebie and people, you know, spend $100 on a bundle. I don't count that as a loss. It's just a way to show appreciation to my customers. And I know that probably sounds really corny, but that's, that's truly why I do it. And I just, I'm a compulsive shopper. So I love picking things up. This is a logo by Lori Goldstein, which if you don't watch my videos, I swear by the brand. Um, I really like the pattern, so I picked it up. I found another Peruvian connection. This one was a dress. So these were all in size, I think size large. So as I was showing, I was trying to show you guys that dress, I realized I saw a little Lafayette 148 tag. So I looked at this, I'm like, $7.99? Uh, you guys probably know how I feel about Lafayette 148. It's a hit or miss. And then right behind it was this nice Ali Tahari piece, which if you watch my video, uh, my previous video, I promised I would stop picking up Ali Tahari, <laughs> uh, which I'm, I'm probably, I'll probably break that soon. Uh, a flax piece. Uh, I, this is why I can't do voiceovers. Oh, it's going, it's coming too fast. So I found flax, Lafayette 148 pants, la brand new tags, Lafayette 148. I was like, my heart rate was like, oh, a thousand miles per hour. I felt like I was stealing just by having all this stuff in my cart. Peruvian connection. Look at that. Athleta, tall, tall pieces always sell well. Piazza Sempione, uh, extremely, I don't want to say extremely, very high-end Italian brand. Hudson Jeans, who, okay, I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, now I'm going through the shoes very awkwardly. I really want to, I want to stop being such a shaky mess when I take my videos. Um, honestly, I was hope I was just, there was an itch, a weird itch that I had where I felt like I was going to find Rothy's after finding like, you know, the Lafayette, 148, the Peruvian Connection Hall. I was like, oh, today's the day that I'm going to find Rothy's because I've yet to ever find Rothy's. Um, I didn't, I didn't find Rothy's. I actually only found one pair of shoes and they were, have I shown, have I gone past them already? Oh, here we go. Al Allegria, possibly Allegria, but I feel like Allegria like rolls off the tongue better. Um, I almost always pick up Allegria and I don't have a problem moving them. Those were six bucks. They're nice clogs. So um, obviously I put them in the cart. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. The Lafayette 148 suit set that I passed, that it looked like I passed on, um, right in front of the Ali Dahari piece. I actually ended up grabbing that. I hate photographing suit sets. They are a hard move sometimes, but I, uh, I figured for $7.99, I'll try to list it around 40 bucks on eBay. Hopefully it moves at that price. I found this adorable Maeve top. I'm trying to stock up on summer stuff, but I've just haven't had any luck. Oh, look at these chairs. I was so excited about these. Now these were weird because they look vintage, but you kind of start looking at the woodwork and it doesn't seem so vintage. I just don't have the space for them, but so cute. I don't, I don't flip furniture either. Um, this was a really cute homemade wooden vintage dog pull toy. Uh, primary colors are really in right now. And I mean, vintage toys are always, I shouldn't say always worth picking up, but you know, the nostalgia kicks in for some people. And that one honestly probably isn't too nostalgic because it's custom made, but so cute. I found a lot of religious pieces this time around. And you know, religious pieces are a hit or miss for if you're, um, I mean, reselling wise, they're a hit or miss. Sometimes you can get a pretty penny for them with the right buyer. And sometimes you just sit and sit and sit. Look at this cute little garden frog. I just had to show you guys that real quick. Little birds, little cardinals and like a blue jay or something. Who knows? This bull caught my eye, but it was unmarked and it didn't feel like anything fancy. This was very interesting. I think it's like an abstract, uh, I want to say a Jesus Christ on the cross figure. Um, $10. Uh, I'm sure Goodwill will get $10 out of that piece because it was extremely interesting. It wasn't actually marble. It was like some sort of like cast um, 
resin or whatever you call that. This, oh, I bought this for myself. So many of you guys may not know this, but I actually collect cherub. Cherubs, cherub anything. I, um, I will nine out of ten times I'll pick up for myself. And, you know, we're moving, so... I feel like I have to stock my new house with beautiful things that I love. <laughs> I love cherubs. Um, this was actually cool. It was kind of messy, but I liked it. It was a big handmade pot. This vase also caught my attention, but as you can see, it was only $18.95 new. So I was like, okay. Now we're just moving on to the end caps. Like I said, the hard goods weren't crazy. Um, I don't want, I don't even know... They nothing really caught my eye too much aside from like the share the cherub that I put in there. Well, like I said, lots of religious pieces. Here's another example. These are chalkware. Now, 1960s chalkware is very collectible. It looks like Virgin Mary and a Jesus Christ. Very, it looks like possibly Catholic. I'm not totally sure. Either way, very collectible chalkware. However, um, there are certain pieces that you can't move. I didn't even look up the price of the. 1960s chalkware Jesus and Virgin Mary because I've been trying you know not to pick up every <laughs> okay wait a minute please <laughs> there I am hi um please tell me the Virgin Mary and Jesus chalkware isn't worth anything because if someone comes and says oh my god that set is rare it's worth $280 I'm I'm gonna have to run out in the middle of the highway <laughs> because I uh I didn't even look those ones up especially because I was already taping my video. I love myself a good wooden box. Okay, here we go. We have an unfortunate horse. Um, Arnold, hand card by Arnold. Sorry that your beautiful artwork ended up there, Arnie. I don't know what to tell you. Um, these teapots caught my attention. I instantly flipped the tag. It said made in China. I was like, nope. Um, these are cute little salt and pepper shakers. I collect uh, pink, specifically pink depression glass. And, uh, I don't pick up the really, really big and bulky pieces because my hutch is so full, but I, I did pick that cute little, I think like maybe candy dish up. Carnival, or car, did I say carnival glass or depression glass? Cause that's depression glass. You know, pink is, I guess, a more collectible color of depression glass than some other colors. Uh, but you know, depression glass is also a hit or miss. Some of it's really, really valuable and some of it not so much. I had to show you guys this cute little like cheese grater or something just cute and quirky like I I'm someday I'm gonna be into that stuff I guarantee it like when I'm a granny and I have grandkids I'm gonna want those stupid little wine corks and all that lots of milk glass this time around but uh milk glass is highly I don't know I shouldn't say highly collectible a lot of people collect it but finding a valuable piece is few and far between I usually will check milk glass for a marking if it has no markings I don't buy it oh this was so cool it's called a fuel belt and I wanted to get this for myself because I thought, how funny would it be if I like showed up a, showed up at a family reunion with a freaking belt full of different mixed drinks and vodka like that? That would be so funny. I didn't get it though, unfortunately. Now I'm kind of regretting it. And I had to show you guys this Zoo Tycoon. So I look at PC games because some of them do have a good resell rate, but uh, no, none of these do. I, I hope not at least. I didn't look them all up. I didn't look any of them up, <laughs> but I used to play Zoo Tycoon until like two in the morning. Um, this was really cool noteworthy $15, which is, I honestly think it's a fair asking price for Goodwill. Um, it was like a layered laser cut. I'm so sorry. sorry. It's eight o'clock where I live. The Goodwill, actually it's 7.51. So the Goodwill that I was just at closes in nine minutes. So it's dark outside. I realize this is the worst possible lighting, but I do want to wrap this video up tonight so that I can get to doing other things tomorrow. Um, so as you guys can tell, if you've made it this far, you listened to all my commentary. I wanted this to be like a hard goods um, focused thrift with me because as a viewer I like watching people go through the hard goods at their thrift shops better I don't know why that is but when I first got here it was uh, I don't want to say it was busy but it was busier than usual and there were people uh, going down the hard goods aisles hard goods aisles yeah I said that right and I just didn't want to tape or start filming uh, while there were people around really because First of all, like that would make me uncomfortable as a shopper. And second of all, I have social anxiety, which is ironic because I make YouTube videos. But I, if somebody would have asked me like, why are you filming? I would have threw up before I got the chance to answer. Uh, so I was just trying to avoid any social situations. Um, so I was like, you know what? While I wait for the hard good aisles to clear, I'm gonna go through the clothing. I'm just gonna skim past it before I start filming. Of course I get like one fifth of a rack in 
and I find like a plethora of good clothes. So I'm like, well, it's going to be a clothing thrift with me video primarily, which was okay because I, after going through the hard goods, I was like, yeah, they're not, I wasn't a hundred percent impressed anyway. So, um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you guys have made it this far, thank you so much. I love all of you. Like truly, I love you. And I feel like I know every single one of you who comment. I just feel like I know you on a personal level, even if you just left like a three word comment. I'm, 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 a, I'm a creep. <laughs> Um, anyway, if you guys like my thrift with me videos, let me know down below in the comments, um, or just like the video because it helps with algorithm and, you know, I can do this regularly if you guys like the thrift with me thing because it's actually fun. I'm just, I need to get better at, um, producing it. Like I need to, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a good multitasker and I feel like the camera was kind of shaky and stuff like that. But if you guys like it, I can start getting better at the thrift with me's because I go to the Goodwill's and thrift stores all the time anyway might as well start filming it so as always thank you so much for watching i'm gonna leave a link down below in the description to my instagram honey.rags and to my website honeyragscoa.com um yeah i guess i can wrap it up here i love you guys so much for watching happy thrifting happy selling and stay safe